Today I want to talk about spanking implements, and uh, especially if you are experienced and, you know, the normal, oh, here's a hand spanking just doesn't cut it for you. I wanted to give uh, thoughts on the top spanking implements from the bottom, and uh, yeah. As always, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow this community so that my beloved and I can... Uh, you know, share the joy of this type of female-led relationship. One. So the first implement is the one that the lady carries around all the time, and that's her hand. And it's a really good implement. It, it's, it's great for what it does. You know, if you're out in public and she can uh, detect some misbehavior on my part, a quick smack on the butt is, um, you know, can be done privately, it can be done quickly, it can be done just um, as a token of, of, it's a token punishment, let's say, uh, just more of a snap you back into shape. Hand spanking as a true punishment is uh, difficult once you are more uh, more experienced because it, it doesn't leave that much of a lasting remark. But what it does do is bring closeness and uh, it can be humiliating, it can be more, more uh, intimate, and it can be just more it's it's just a, it's a close one, you know. It's it's hand on skin, and that feels amazing. Uh, don't get me wrong, it feels amazing, but it won't leave you, uh, you know, feeling truly uh, punished. It'll make you feel, uh, you know, you. It, it's more emotional. Let's put it that way. Uh, number two, a step up from that is plastic style hairbrushes, and those are pretty good. Um, those leave a good sting. They're they're kind of. Not not too heavy, they're weighty, uh, they can be a little bit, but they, they sting a lot more. Uh, basically the smooth polish style, um, you know, the paddle brushes you get from CVS and whatever, they're fun. Um, they, they're not too bad, uh, they're, they're just, you know, good over the lap uh, spanking implements. They leave red marks, they can bruise. What they do to my skin um, is actually just abraded a bit so that it's, I'm actually more sore after those because they just make the skin sensitive without causing any deep tissue uh, bruising or anything like that, especially the, the ones with the wide plastic things. Uh, the bad part about them is that they, they will break, so um, the cheap ones are not that much fun. Three. The wooden hairbrush. Now these are serious implements, and they are extreme, and they can be. They can they can also be fun, but these are handheld. You know, great for over the lap spanking, uh, great for punishments. But the heavy ones, the ones you find like, um, you know, if you if you're at an antique sale or if you look online, you can find the ebony uh, oval shape wooden hairbrushes. They're not that big, but they just allow the, the lady to, um, you know, hold you down and just smack your butt and just bruise. And I mean, they, they don't have to be used that hard, but they will leave an impression. Those are fearsome, to put it mildly. Um, I, I love them, and I hate them. Uh, if you use them lightly for play, they're, they're a lot of fun, but if you you know, if I've, if I've been really bad and she pulls me over and just starts wailing and just smack after smack with those brushes, I, you, it's hard to stay still. And that's one of the things I have to do is stay still. And it's, it's hard. Four. From there, going to bath brushes. These are fearsome. Uh, we have, actually, it's, it's sad. We have a Bed Bath & Beyond bath brush. Oval shape. It's about three and a half inches wide at the handle. It's maple. It's polished. That thing is brutal. That's one where she'll have me laying across a pillow and she will uh, just smack from, the, you know, it's a straight up and down motion. She will just spank. And it's wide enough that uh, if you hit each cheek individually, you cover the entire side. And um, it, it just, it leaves bruises. The last time we used one, I was really bad. And she had me over the pillow and she was spanking me with this bath brush. And it wasn't fast, but it was hard. It makes a loud snapping sound, a loud pop, very loud. And after... <laughs> After a while, uh, it broke skin, 
and that's because it was a polished surface, you know, skin on skin, uh, that polished surface hitting the skin, and it just, it tore my, it tore my butt up, let me say. I, I had scabs, um, you know, it blistered really fast, and it just, it peeled the skin back. Um, so those you have to be careful with, but they are, those are intense and extreme. Um, they can be used mildly, don't get me wrong, but they are, uh, they're very easy to just, if you, if you've been bad, that's, that's the one, you know, that's the one I dread for. Beyond that, we get into the thin implements, and those, the one we use the most is the cane, and we have a Delrin uh, Senior Cane that we got from Caniac, and it is uh, very weighty, it's very flexible, very weighty, and when we started using it, I was actually scared because my wife didn't have as much control on it, so it took a lot of practice, but that one will... Uh, leave bruising. It will. Um, it leaves a sharp, just a line of pain every time it hits. Because, uh, like I say, she does not spank softly. Um, so a caning from her is pretty much, you know, it's pretty full. Uh, she'll, she'll, she might, if she's being really nice, give a few warm ups with something else. But once the cane comes out, it's full force. And um, yeah, the the first time we played with it. We actually had a shorter version of it, and uh, we were laying in bed, and she was just playing around. And I remember being bruised for three days. Uh, it, it's that it can be that way. Now, since we've been using it more, I, I obviously don't bruise like that anymore. But ooh, I still remember those bruises. That that was intense. Six. One thing she's gotten to like is uh, Chick Saddlery is an online place, and they sell writing crops for them. They, they put them on sale and they're real writing crops and they are very durable and I love them. Not, they're not a punishing punishment style. They're more of a fun style spanking, um, but it's a writing crop. They have flappers in various sizes. The ones that are good for punishment for me are the ones with the thin tail at the end, the thin popper, because uh, it's a little long and it whips across and that's just more intense. Uh, the ones that are wide and flat tend to be more uh, comfy, and you know I can I can tolerate those better. But they're not um, they're they're not used for punishment for the the wide flappy ones. They just, it, it's a warming sensation, not really a you know good like you know not really uh, punishing. They're they're more fun. Seven. Uh, outside of those, you get to what I call the most severe implement. And that, for us, is a, um, it's a cord, and I call it a loopy johnny, but it's a rubber cord about half an inch wide. It's round. Um, think a, a heavy electrical cord uh, in weight, you know, and you can use a heavy electrical cord, but you have to be very careful with it. But this rubber cord, it has weight to it. It has a small handle on it. And wherever it hits, I mean, wherever it hits, is an instant welt. It can be used to bruise, but it welts. It just leaves lines um, all over, and it's it's so heavy, and you have to whip it kind of fast, and that's that's part of why it's so intense. But it grabs the skin, it pulls away, and it leaves a wheel, that like like a welt. I mean, it's it's one if. If I were doing a video company, that's the one I would use for the dramatic marks, because it is, and um, I don't stay still for it. I can't tolerate it very much. Um, it's only for the worst punishments. Um, it, it's it, when it's used. I know she's upset. Let's put it that way. A. Moving on to wooden spoons. Uh, I love this category because there, to me, there are two types of wooden spoons. There's the type you get at Walmart that's a light beech wood wooden spoon, and those can be fun on bare skin. Uh, if you use them over clothes, you, you know, as a guy, you wouldn't feel it. Uh, I feel like girls feel them more. Um, they're they're lightweight. They're very stingy. They they will turn your butt red, but not intense. The good part about them is, uh, especially if you're new, you can wail on someone with one and barely cause any, you know, damage. It'll it'll basically be a surface sting, goes away after a while. Um, they're they're very good for beginners, and that's the lightweight ones. 
Now we we played with those uh, back when we were dating, and they were they were fun because you know we were, she, she was learning and I was learning, and it, they they were they're, they're just fun. They're they're you know beach wood and smack smack makes it it's lightweight. It's not challenging to use. Now what she did though is buy a good grips thick spoon. That's the one that got me in trouble during a maintenance banking because I couldn't stay still because it is intense and it's about half an inch thick. I'll get a picture of it up here for you, um, but it's half an inch thick. It is heavy. It is bruising. It is punishing. It has such a small impact area that, you know, it can be used for extended periods and, um, I, I couldn't stay still. I could not. It was so intense. Um, it will leave bruises, marks. Yeah, I was a sorry mess at the end of that one. Nine. Going on to what a lot of people love, and it's one of my favorite implements, but not for punishment. That is the plain leather belt, like a very good quality, you know, leather belt. And that I love. Uh, mostly because it's it just that's the one that I it feels good to me and I did not grow up getting spanked with a belt so don't don't think that but it was um it was one where uh, my first girlfriend that was into this had a had a great belt and it just it was it's so warming and um, that just the sensations overall felt amazing but that's me they can be used you know. If you use them harshly, they will leave marks, they'll leave bruises, they'll, you know, there's just a variety of sensations you can get from a good leather belt. Uh, those little plastic cheapy ones, or like a patent leather belts, those things are horrible, don't, don't even bother. But a good heavy leather belt, like a work belt, oh yeah, those are, those are amazing. And they get better with time as they loosen up, um, you know, you just double it over and just go to town. And especially if you're experienced, those just leave the best feelings. Yeah, the best. Uh, I, oof, yeah, or, or, you know, you hate those. And, you know, they, they do bring a lot of, uh, they're, they're triggering for a lot of people. I'm, I'm lucky they're not triggering for me, but they're, they're intense. Beyond the leather belt, uh, you have straps, you know, you can get like, uh, uh, razor straps or just it's strip of leather you know it's wider than a belt can be heavier than a belt um, those are great uh, if you want you know very intense sessions they leave a warming sensation and then they leave bruises so it's uh, they, they get to be intense uh, those are great I want a better one than what I have uh, what we have is kind of it's too light but they're um you know, you get a heavy leather one, they are so good. They just, it's that smacking sound and the way it wraps and just, mm, yeah, those are, those are amazing. Um, the worst of the straps, if you can find a rubber strap, that sensation is unlike any other. It will hit, smack, grab, and pull the skin each time. And, you know, you can go hard at it and cause some serious damage. Um, never broken skin with those, which is why I like them. Because sometimes, like I say, my wife is hard. I mean, she's, she, she is the hardest I've ever, yeah, as far as thinking goes. She, it, it's all or nothing with her. So warm-ups are a challenge for her. Um, but rubber straps are ones that it, it leaves an instant white mark on your skin and then the burn sets in and it's intense it's so it, it, it's that white burning sensation and if that builds up over you know 10 slaps it's it, it, it definitely will leave an impression um that's another of the serious ones basically rubber and and the loopy like the the thin uh, rubber and the wide rubber those are two that they will leave an impression and those are uh, the implements that we use and the ones that um, we use for both fun and for punishments. But like I say, there's nothing wrong with a good hand spanking. There's nothing wrong with being, uh, you know, if you're in the mall and you're being a brat and she pulls you into a secluded corner and gives like two or three slaps with a hand, that is so embarrassing. Um, 
because you you know you're you're in public, but you're not. You're in private. I'm not a fan of subjecting others to uh, what uh, you know what's what's private. I'm not a fan of that. But I am a definitely a fan of the quick corrections and um, there are always private areas you know where a a nice hand can go Um, or if you're at a Super Bowl party and she carries around that little loopy thing uh, that little rubber cord yeah 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 she she goes prepared but those are those are easily contained and I hope you found this useful hope you found it enjoyable and uh, we will talk to you soon Don't forget to like and subscribe.